Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free Elementor add-on plugin. The name of the plugin is Elements Kit. This plugin has free as well as premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the premium version of this plugin also. And I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. Here you will see a list of widgets that are available in Elements Kit plugin. Some widgets are available in the free plugin and some of them are available in the pro plugin. Here you will see some pro widgets that are available. If you do not have Elementor Pro plugin and you want to create header and footer for your WordPress website, in that case, you can use Elements Kit plugin. This plugin has a feature to create header and footer in an Elementor website. So let's see what are the features of the free and the premium version of Elements Kit plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. Here, I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor on this website. I'm using only the free Elementor. I do not have Elementor Pro plugin installed. You will see only one plugin is installed on this website and I'm using Hello theme, which is the basic Elementor theme. Now we are going to install the Elements Kit plugin. Let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here, search for Elements Kit. And this is the plugin Elements Kit Elementor add-on. This plugin has been installed on more than 1 million WordPress websites. So let's click on install now. And click on activate. All right, so the free plugin is installed and it is activated. Let's go to the pages. I have one page created here that is the home page and on this page we will see what are the widgets available in this plugin. So let's go to edit with Elementor. Currently for this demo website I do not have any header or footer and there is no content on this website. All right, so here you will see this is the basic layout of this demo website. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to add one section here so that we can add widgets. All right, so click on the plus sign and you will see different widgets in the left hand panel. This is the basic Elementor widget. You will see it here. These are the Elementor Pro widgets, not the element skit. These are the Elementor Pro widgets. Then below that we have general widgets and then site that is for the upgrade. WooCommerce is available for the Elementor Pro plugin. And below that you will see this section, Elements Kit. And under that you will see the free widgets that are available in this free plugin. So you can see that we have image accordion, then accordion button, heading, blog post. If you want to show the blog post, you can simply drag it and drop it here. And you can show the blog post. For this also, there are different layouts. Currently it is on block, you can change it to grid layout and you will see grid layout. This demo website has only one blog post. That's why it shows here. If you have multiple blog posts, it will show the grid layout of the blog post. How many columns you want, you can customize it from here. So all the customization settings are in the left hand panel. So let's delete this one, click on the plus sign and let's go down. This is image accordion. Let's see how does this look. All right, so you will see four images are there. I'm going to add one of the images. Currently, I have only one image here. And this is for the first image. Let's go to the second one. And let me browse some images. I'm going to add one more image. All right, so we have got four images there. And this is the image accordion. Now, in this section, you will see whether you want to make it active. If you make it active, it will be like this. And this is the title. You will see it here. This is a button. If someone clicks on it, it will go to that particular URL. If you do not want button, you can simply disable it from here. If you want to enable pop-up, you can also enable pop-up. So if someone clicks on it, it will go to, it will open the pop-up. All right. So let's disable the pop-up and project link. If you have project, it will open the project. So this is image accordion. If I click on the second image, you will see details of the second image. If I go to third image, this is how it will work. So this is an additional widget that you are getting in the free plugin. Let's delete this one. Click on the plus sign again. And let's go down here. You will see heading, blog post, icon box. If I drag it and drop it here, this is how it will look. 
so you can create columns and in columns you can add this icon box then we have client logo if you want to show the slider of the logos so you can use this one image box is there just like this let me create some columns here let's use the grid layout click on the plus sign and add image box here all right so this one looks good here you can add image then you can add title description and a button next is countdown timer and you will see different layouts for the countdown timer you can use any one of these layouts let's add this one in a new column here all right so this is how to look this is the countdown timer you can change the layout you can use this one or any other layout that you want so this is another feature that you will not get in the free elementor plugin this one looks good you can customize it you can add your own timer settings here you can set the date and the time and it will show that here then we have client logo faq if you want to add faqs you can add faqs here you just like that this is nothing but the toggle button or the accordion that you can use fun fact let's try this one all right so this is a fun fact this is a logo or you can say the icon then we have content you will see content here then settings all the settings you will find in the left hand panel let's delete this one we have image comparison let's try this one let's add two different images here this is the first one and this is for the second one all right this is basically a vertical if you want you can change it to horizontal and this is how it will look this is the image comparison then we have latte testimonials you can also add testimonials drag it and drop it here and you will see different layouts for the testimonials you can select from different layouts you'll see it here how many testimonials you want to show you can see the settings here settings go to settings currently it is showing only one you can change it to two three all right so you will see the slider here with the testimonials so there are many different widgets available in the free plugin video business hours drop caps social share if you want to add social share you can add it here and it will show the share buttons tabs business hours if you want to show the business hours you can use the business hours let's try this one here just like this this one looks good wp forms ninja form these are additional plugins for that you will need to install that plugin below that you have element script header and footer if you want to create header and footer you can use some of these widgets for example this is a navigational menu bar so in the header you may want to add this navigational menu bar you can also add header search header info is there header off canvas is there so these are the basic widgets let's update this one and let's go back to the dashboard in the left hand panel you will see this option elements kit and under that you will see header footer widget builder if i go to header and footer from here you can create a header and footer for your wordpress website this feature is available in the elementor pro plugin where you can use elementor theme builder feature to create header and footer now if you have elements kit free plugin you can also create header and footer you will see it here you need to enable this one so it is not possible to cover me header and footer in this video so I'm going to create a new video on how to create header and footer using Elements Kit plugin. All right, now I'm going to install the Pro plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Let me show you the pricing of this plugin. If I go to pricing, you will see the pricing of this plugin is only $39 for a single website. And in that you will get 85 plus add-ons, 769 plus ready blocks. 27 ready home pages so header and footer builder mega menu builder advanced parallax effect cross domain copy and paste drag and drop widget builder so all these features are available in pro plugin this is for the single website if you want for the unlimited website the pricing will be 179 dollars and for five websites the pricing will be 87 dollars all right so if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use that link to buy this plugin 
All right, let's go back and install the Pro plugin. I have it downloaded, so I'm going to upload the plugin. Click on Browse and Upload and Browse the Pro plugin. Click on Install now. Click on Activate plugin. All right, so the Pro plugin is installed and it is activated. Now let's go back to the home page again and let's refresh it. All right, now let's minimize these options and go to Elements Kit. You'll see it here. Now we have installed the Pro plugin and there will be some additional widgets added in Elements Kit. So if I scroll down, you will see some additional widgets here. Back to top option is there. Hotspot option is there. ABC motion text is there. Twitter feed, Instagram feed, gallery, pie chart, Woo mini card. So these are the widgets that you can use in WooCommerce website. If you have WooCommerce website with Elementor, then these are the widgets that you can use. Woo product carousal, Woo product list. Then we have table, creative button, advanced toggle, zoom, Facebook feed, Facebook reviews. So you need to integrate the Facebook in your WordPress website and then it will show the reviews from the Facebook. Pinterest feed, pop-up model. Let's see how does this work, pop-up model. All right, so if I click on it, it will open the pop-up and there are these basic settings for this pop-up. Current it is set to model, you can change it to slide. If I click on it, you will see the slide. Then from where you want to slide in, let's say top. So this is how it will look. And if I go to settings, you will see the toggler button, then pop-up, then content. What will be the content? This is the content. And overlay, if you want to add overlay, close icon, header, this is how it shows. This is pop-up title. If I click on it, you will see this is the header, then this is the subtext, and this is the content of the pop-up. All right, so this one also looks good. Advanced slider is there, image hover effect is there. Then we have fancy animated text, stylish list. Let's see this one, how does this look? All right, so this is nothing but the icon list, fancy animated text. So this one has some effects. You will see element skit is, and uh, you will see most popular add-on. So these are the three animated words. You will see it here. And you can customize all these widgets. You can go to style settings and you can change the color settings for all these widgets. Just like how you edit the style settings of any element of widget. Price menu is there, team carousal slider is there, audio player, flip box. Let's try the flip box. All right, so this is a flip box. This is ABC motion text. Let's try this one. All right, enable animation. Let's try one of these animations. All right, so this is how it will work. All right, so you will see some animations for this text. Coupon code option is there. Let's try this one. And currently it is set to slide. If I move the cursor, you will see a slide effect. And if I click on it, this is the coupon code. So you can add your coupon code here. And this is the label. Let's try another one. Slide with curve. You will see some changes here. You will see a curve there. And this is the coupon label. And if I click on it, it will show the coupon. This right curve then we have inline style button with input you will see the coupon code and this is the coupon code here copy code if I click on it it will copy the code do that we have category list page list these are the for the blogs if you have a blog it will show the categories of the blogs if you want to see all the widgets that are available in the pro you can go to this website and you will see all the pro widgets that are available in this plugin whatsapp is there if you want you can also search whatsapp you will see button here whatsapp let's drag it and drop it here this is how it will look there are different settings you will see this is the whatsapp number here you can add your whatsapp number this is for the body footer how do you want input bottom 
and these are the button layouts all right you will see the image here you, you can add your own image here all right so this one also looks good if you want to add whatsapp button on your website you can use this one image morphing is there coupon code we have we saw that one circle menu still upcoming interactive links protected content audio player advanced slider so there are many advanced widgets available in the pro plugin so if you do not have elementor pro plugin you can try using the elements kit free plugin if you want more features you can go for elements kit pro plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.